How's it going guys? So we're going to talk about video settings and we already covered shadow quality uh, in my last video <laughs> and alright we're going to switch here so I'm going to post a link for anyone who hasn't seen that and we're going to cover the rest of the video settings here. So starting off model and texture detail has no effect on gameplay it's just visually pleasing if you put it on high rather than low so if you check out my gloves here uh, they're on high right now I'm going to change it to low you'll see the texture of my gloves you know dull down, not as sharp, not as good looking. So that's pretty much what that setting does, is change your player models here. It doesn't actually change your teammates or the enemy's player model. Like, it doesn't increase the quality of the actual player models. Just what you see here. So that's that. Effect detail doesn't really do much. Adds more effects, more fancy stuff on maybe, you know, muzzle flashes or uh, explosion, like bomb explosion, stuff like that. No effect on gameplay. So, you know, I, I like to keep that on low, definitely. Uh, shader detail, that probably has the biggest effect on your game looking nice. And making your skins look nice. It, you know, improves your skins, uh, the, uh, your, you know, your models, the map. Uh, it does affect gameplay, I'm gonna check it, check it out a little bit later. Or I'll tell you what changes, uh, ch ch going in here. So here's low, check out my... Uh, the shadows moving right now on a high. Check out my skin right there. And if you see, do here. Let me put, put this on very high, which I had it. So yeah, if you can see, the sun actually like glistens off my knife. So it looks really nice when there is actually high shader detail, or you have, you know, the sh the shadow from the sun on your grenade. Uh, the shadows move and you know it adds a nice little effect on the floor here in tunnels so it makes things look nice so if I change it off here put it to low watch my knife become you know ugly so it kinda becomes dull uh, the floor becomes dull here as well shadows don't move so stuff like that the one effect it has on gameplay here is it adds a scope blur when you're moving so nice and clean scope here on low and medium if I change uh, the shader detail to either high or very high, I'll get a scope blur. So I mean that's up to you. Do you uh, you know snipe a lot and you don't want the blur, then don't put it on high. But if you like the graphics and you don't mind the blur, uh, you know go for high shader detail. So that's that. Uh, Multi-core rendering, you always want to have that enabled. Pretty much just make sure CSGO uses your full CPU power, so keep that enabled. Alright, so my video keeps crashing every time I'm recording a video and trying to show you what this multi-sampling AA does. So I'm just going to describe it here. I like to have it on 2x, which is, you know, just on barely. I think it improves your, the smoothness of your gameplay. Uh, what it does is basically removes like jagged edges, like... You know, you can see them a tiny bit here, how they're a little bit jaggedy. And if you have it on zero, uh, they're a little bit more annoying. And, you know, the difference between 2x... Oops, I'm recording a video. I'm not going to change it. But, you know, the difference between 2x and, like, 8x is so, you know, little that I like to just put it on a little bit. And it really has no effect on my FPS going from zero to 2x. So I like to have that on a little bit. Texture filtering. Uh, yes, to cancel that. If we're gonna look at the floor here, pretty much it makes the it makes the textures uh, better looking and better looking from a further distance. So uh, this one's the worst. Going up to you know 18x or 16x is the best. Uh, it really has no effect on FPS too much. Like I think this setting is definitely worth it to have it on 2x or 4x. Putting on none these two low settings uh, makes your game pretty ugly and for the amount of FPS difference which is literally nothing unless you have a super super old GPU uh, is worth it so if we're looking here and if you just look at the floor here how these uh, you know the, the uh, textures look pretty good up close here but then they start fading away and look pretty ugly from further away even look at the detail at the wall here I'm gonna change this from uh, Billionaire to 2x and you see it brought it brought out a lot more detail here and the textures look better from a further distance so, you know going up all the way to here 
there's not much of a visually difference going from like 4x to you know 16x but it makes the the texture is better looking from further away so I'm gonna show you that again if you just look at the ground here look at the wall back here look you know we can still see the cracks way back there so boom that kinda just blurred out this whole uh, this whole concrete way whatever you wanna call it but I like to put this on like 4x and it makes everything look good and really has no effect on my FPS at all going into another uh, anti-analyzing anti-aliasing my bad <laughs> uh, I like this have disabled once again it's just gonna smooth edges and pretty much do the same thing as the multi sampling AA does but I think this one actually adds a little bit of a blur to your game uh, you know just because it's doing a lot of smoothing around objects so I like to have this disabled and so th this is once again preference you know it's visually how you like your game to visually look my preference is disabled vertical sync you're always want to want to have that disabled not can talk about that motion blur pretty uh, straightforward here uh, it does affect gameplay I guess because if you're looking moving your moving left to right fast it's gonna blur your game and that, and that you know affects you from actually seeing your enemy better so no motion blur uh, and you know that'll help you save FPS too because that's an effect that's happening on your computer so disabled disabled and that pretty much covers everything guys uh, if you have any other questions about these settings please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you and thanks for watching guys